And what started as a peaceful protest on Sunday turned into violence. Stores looted, windows broken, and others tagged with spray paint. We were definitely part of a community that was trying to say something. I'm Micah Maloney and I'm a program manager at Spokane Arts. Spokane Arts is an independent nonprofit and we partner with public and private entities so we work really closely with the city on a lot of public art projects including the public murals collection. Our mission as an organization is to support arts and culture in the region, uh, and that includes supporting individual artists as well as other arts organizations. We do arts programming, grant making through SAGA, the Spokane Art Grants Awards, and we also do advocacy and professional development for artists. The creative economy is a huge economic driver and also adds to the quality of life here in huge and important ways. Here's an opportunity for us to pay artists. Again, it's that there's so many artists that are out of work. How can we hire somebody right now to, to get some art out there? We have so many artists in the community that are interested in doing something like a huge, large-scale mural. But these are really competitive opportunities and you need to have a certain level of experience and project management skills to be able to tackle something like this. And so the temporary murals that happened last June were great in that they were small. And so we were able to, like we reached out primarily to artists of color and other artists that we knew could hop on the projects right away and give them the opportunity to do that. So that there was a mix of really experienced artists that did some of those smaller projects and there were other artists that they had never done a mural before. I think I really connected with Susan and Shelby's. I think they did a great job. We were asked to do by Spokane Arts. They already knew us from a previous mural we did for them. And I think they just knew we'd be super stoked to do it and we wouldn't be like scared to be out in the middle of a protest painting. We always like our work to have a story, and this one really hit home because we were involved with the with the protests and and behind it all the way. So, to do something with that much heart and to be able to create something for Black Lives Matter, and we really put our all into it. When we work together, we bounce off each other really well. We have different styles that complement each other. It's important to show where you stand. Absolutely. Frustration and like depression and anxiety caused by everything happening in the world definitely fuels your creativity. I don't know if everyone's like that, but that's yeah. when I make the most art is when everything's just dark. It's like therapy, like once you're done with the art, you're like, okay, like part of that horrible feeling is gone now. Yeah. And I think that's why whenever the world's in like crisis, so much great art comes out of it. People are just here to exist and be loved. It shouldn't matter the color of their skin or where they come from. My bubble girl is kind of my iconic thing that I like to do. I did that because it's kind of like taking in this pretty image and also like there's some reality behind it. It's like, hey, this is a black artist that does some fun, cool pops of color and stuff like that, which is amusing for everybody and like everybody loves it. But there's also a message behind it.
I've just seen more murals and seen more artists really evolve here. I was just part of the Monroe Street painting project that they had, and there was quite a few artists on that, and it was just cool. It was just so, like, they're, they're pushing for people to get paid. They're pushing for artists to be seen. I took a walk down Pico, heard someone shout from a crowd of fed up people getting told they should calm down. It's important to have more message in the paintings and the murals downtown, and I think we should keep pushing for it. I think it should keep going. I think there needs to be more diversity. There needs to be more people of color painting murals. What they did here was amazing. When I was down here painting, a lot of people came up, and it was a connection of souls. Like, people were just thanking me and thanking all the other artists, and they're just like, thank you for doing this. It wasn't even like, oh, thank you for making this pretty. They're like, thank you for doing this. And that was really huge for me.